Hello guys, this is Spicy Blocks, and this is a review on the Bandai High Grade GN000 Old Gundam. <laughs> uh, this model kit came from uh, Gundam 00, which is a series that ran from, uh, it's actually a TV series that ran from 2007 to 2009 in Japan, and this one is released in 2009, made in Japan. So uh, I actually never watched the anime, but uh, reason why I pick up uh, this one is because uh, it kind of looks like the traditional uh, RX-78-2, sort of. I mean, it's got a lot of uh, similarities. And uh, originally retail for 1200 yen in Japan. Pretty cool. It's around like 11 or 10 bucks. So, <clears throat> alright. So, let's take a look at the uh, model kit. It's fully built and uh, custom painted. I did a lot of uh, panel lining and a wash on the legs. Also, I painted uh, these parts right here with gold instead of using yellow. Also, I uh, painted the helmet or the headpiece uh, extensively. You can see uh, we have uh, the ornament on the head, which I painted with gold and accent with the red color. And uh, I also added uh, some uh, sticker. I actually used a sticker for the eye this time. And uh, the rest are just... Oh, I also painted in the chest piece right here with the... Uh, red accent color and uh, yeah also uh, I did some panel lining on the shield as well and for accessories uh, he does have a couple things so first off he has got this uh, shield right here very nice let's take a look at that he's got a handle right here for the shield so you can hold it underneath and attach it to his arm like so very cool it's also got this, uh, I guess, a GN rifle, or uh, I think it's a GN rifle. It just doesn't have the tip. So uh, GN actually stands for Gundam Nucleus, which is like uh, some sort of a power cell for uh, the you know the mobile suit, the Gundams, in this uh, particular series. I don't know what's actually powering it, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's all I know about it. So a lot of the weapons are GN base, Gundam nuclear base, nucleus base, not nuclear. But uh, they all have this uh, very interesting uh, thing on the back, which is called the GN drive. So yeah, that's pretty much all I know about it. It's also got this beam saber, but it doesn't have any uh, beam effect parts to it, it just attached to the back. And the way it's attached, it does look really, look a lot like the RX-78. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Now, uh, he does have one interesting gimmick. This will have the action base over here. Uh, I'm gonna take off this thing right here, which uh, they call it the GN feather. And uh, basically what you do is you attach this thing to the back of the unit, like so. You detach this part right here, and then uh, you attach this whole thing to the back of the model. And then it's got this uh, weird power-up looking thing. And what you can do is you can, uh, there's actually like a little panel right here. You can remove exposing this hole. You can do it either way. There's another one on the bottom. And now you take the action base, and you peg it in like so. So just like the box art, let's see if I can get this right. <laughs> it's a little tricky, so you gotta be patient with it. <clears throat> Actually, I think the best way to do it is probably just do it from the bottom side. So what you want to do is uh, you want to remove this little uh, thing right here, and then just peg it in like so. <laughs> And then uh, you can do some, uh, you know, some uh, floating kind of pose with this. Let's see if I can get it right. All right, and uh, just like the box, his uh, 
you know, standing up with the... Let's take a look at that, that's pretty cool. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this review. Uh, you can probably find this on Amazon for about uh, maybe 15 bucks. Anywhere between 13 and 15 bucks. And uh, you might get free shipping on it too. So this is a pretty uh, nice little kit. It's uh, probably only take me about uh, 40 minutes to build. Uh, excluding painting. The painting actually took forever. <laughs> but other than that, you know, uh, with or without paint, I think this one's still a pretty nice kit. So yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this review. And as always, thanks for watching.